Sega. Hello again, everyone. This is Shadow Black for Seven X, and this is Sonic Lost World for Nintendo Wii U. So, with all the seven main zones done, we got a little bonus zone, and this is Hidden World. This is the first act, and uh, these levels have a little perks to them. This one, apparently, Act One, isn't really that much other than bashing these little blocks around, all for sole purpose of on helping unlock the remaining levels of Hidden World. And there's just only four of them, like with any other zone. But all of them requiring a certain animal number requirement. Now this level, it's a level that both helps out in really building that number requirement. So essentially this is an endless level. All that is, the point of this level is to Build up your animal count by bashing out these blocks and knocking them out of this little cube shaped area of sorts. As you can see in the timer above, it starts out at around 30 seconds. And of course, you could simply just get out of this level by having the time run out and not dying at all. The only way dying at all is apparently by purposely falling off. And also, those blocks. As, as you probably saw in the beginning of the first start of this level, as you can see right now, they knock, they they roll and knock Sonic in all directions. Again, flipping all the the floor tiles as well, which could have Sonic fall, uh, flying all over the place. And as you can see right there, Sonic apparently died because apparently there's a little homing attack didn't quite land. So this is just what pretty much the point of this level is. There's nothing right down the center, as I probably thought there was, but yeah. Those blocks are just for the purpose of knocking your Sonic out, and should Sonic knock him out, they'll be destroyed. And you get some animals free, which will add into our animal count. Locking in the later levels of Hidden World. Pretty pointless selling, to be honest with you. Overall, in terms of if there's anything worth finishing. Very close to missed there, I thought that Sonic died again. So, the main point of this level break as many blocks as you can, create as many animals as you can, and stay alive for 30 seconds the next, the next time you hit another section of the level. I actually quite enjoy the music of this of, of all Kidding World. All Kidding World's levels follow the same music. Again, composed by the one only Tomoya Otani. Pretty stupid that right there too. And I, and of course I didn't have to really have to lose these many lives for such a simple level, but you know, these blocks can be a bit tricky. Especially once you destroy the plenty a plentiful number of them, they'll start calling really they'll start rolling themselves pretty quickly. Yeah. I don't get that either. <laughs> really horrible at this game, am I? <laughs> And didn't really have to do that. Yeah. <laughs> and all this just to avoid that block. And there's the time limit. And that done. There you go. Zone one cleared. That's all that is. But as I said before, it's all just for animal collecting. But uh, nonetheless, moving on from that boring level. Really boring bonus level too. And there's our next level. 
and 7,000, apparently 7,000 animals to, uh, 7,000 in the animal count to unlock the final level. Now, zone 2, and it's actually quite fun level as we get to drive our pilot the tornado with both Sonic and Tails on board, and a literal rearrangement of Believe in Myself, again, the theme of Tails. Or actually, this is the Sonic Adventure 2 variant of Believe in Myself. Sung under, sung by none other than Cast Silver. A little simple uh, soft rock song of sorts. Essentially, dodge those obstacles, collect rings, and make it to the end. We have these uh, stopwatches that will extend the time, got some boosts. But the point of this level is to really make it to the end. You lose a life. Should which which should not ever have it to me. Should you not, should you uh, not make it to the end by the end of the time limit. And of course, should you crash, given not enough, enough rings. And speaking of crashing, I just crashed. So that's another life down. Otherwise, it's simple collecting rings and dodging among other things. Not sure, really, is there really you can really destroy those robots again in the way, other than losing rings and getting some damage in the process. A couple of plenty of routes to take. Tornado can be really weird. Handling the tornado can be quite weird. That also going along with how the camera moves too. It feels like almost like a boat of sorts. The tornado. For those who know the lyrics, I believe myself could probably sing along. <laughs> Don't know the lyrics myself. <laughs> be cool. I want to be something. I want to be just like them. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Pretty uninspiring levels, she got to be honest. Uh, to be honest with you, with this hidden world, seemingly bonus levels, not really quite inspiring at all. I wanna fly. I think the next two lines are like, I wanna reach the heavens or something. Reach the heavens, something, 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 something. Yeah, my singing skills are really definitely on par right there. Ooh, really big crash right there. <laughs> can be quite tricky, tricky to dodge all those obstacles, and apparently that's the finish line. So that is Zone 2 of Hidden World. Nothing really special at all. <laughs> uh, pretty much optional levels, if I should say. And that moves on to the third level. A little black bomb. Wisp. Sharing a little wisp and item trading system. In the meantime, we go on to zone three. This one utilizes some it's some one one with actual platform into it. All the floors here disappear. And in the end is a large animal container that Sonic must break wide open. Really horrible judgment of jumping right there. Okay, back to the beginning. Of course, this level itself has its own obstacles to dodge, some other things worth looking for beyond those disappearing tiles. We've got some moving floors, and I don't know how in the world it sounded just fall off like that, but there's another extra life. Not really a good start to this peculiar level. And the camera itself, all, uh, once again, this is one of those levels where it's, a, it's a, essentially a cylindrical level. And the camera can really mess you up one way or another. I really had to tilt my head in some of these sections too. Just taking my time, making sure that I'm still playing time before all the, the tiles Disappear. I got some interesting funky music to go along with it too. 
So essentially this level is all for the ring collecting and just another interesting platforming level to do. First checkpoint. And this one's the beginning of these um, moving platforms. And those little pillars ahead not ch essentially chop these platforms off. So you gotta really jump into the next series of platforms you want to continue on safely. Nothing more special than that. Nothing, no secrets to look out for, no other things to look out for. A little spike ball shot into the little mix. Ooh, a little close to right there. I can't really tell whether or not it's gonna fall or not. Extra life opportunity right there with those little ascending number tokens. Apparently, didn't know where the fourth number one is, so apparently, it's probably ahead of us. Well, animal containers, two animal containers actually, ten animals free. Triangles of ten rings, thirty rings. And as you can see, the ring counts at 297, so another level. Given the latest update, the current update of Sun Lost World, where you could earn plenty of lives. Probably next portion as that that floor goes on. I could essentially just ignore that floor, but decide to navigate that floor nevertheless. And apparently, that's strangely enough. Yes, indeed, that is a bell. But since all of Hidden World's levels don't contain red rings. That one free actually frees animals should one reach the level at the end. Or if, if it wasn't animals, I think it was probably perhaps a... Maybe an extra life, I think. I don't remember what, what comes out of it, but if should I get in this little run, I guess... We shall see. But yeah, as I said, no red rings in any of the Hidden World levels. Just optional bonus levels for one to enjoy. Again, a little mention of a little play of uh, believing myself in the last level. A little tourney to level. Brief tourney to level. And I wasn't able to hop into the animal container again. Sonic's ability jump is also quite problematic along this parkour system. Sometimes it's really, and also given the camera angle stacked, go in a level. Sometimes it's really quite hard to really judge whether or not you're making a good jump in these, especially in these central levels like this one. I'm just clicking this one away. Hopefully, it's a really bad mistake on my part as that kind of went too fast for that moving platform. Lots of lives wasted now down to 14. I can actually get a game over in this one. <laughs> that would be quite embarrassing on my part. It's just following along the place of that moving platform. Like tips on that animal container. And there's the moving platform again. Moving on to the next moving platform. Some strips of these moving platforms to dodge before they disappear. Chopped out by those little uh, pillars, sorts. Not sure exactly what lies on that other side right there, but should I move on there? I guess I wouldn't be able to uh, get to this farther section of this level. But this one, things get a little tricky. Yes, the animal, if you could probably see right beyond that little container right there, is leads to the giant animal container. All those pillars beyond the thing. Beyond those... <coughs> beyond those pillars following those quick, uh, fast-moving uh, strips of those breakable tiles. This animal container, as you could also tell before Sonic fell off. The sparkle that goes all around Sonic's body. Some 
animals to add to the animal count. Animal count. Essentially, a well-timed dash to the finish in order to get that last animal container and finish up this level. Get a little dash to the finish, and there you have it. There's the animal container. Horrible jump, but the points really don't matter. And that's Hidden World Zone 3, but since, as we remember, that the final zone requires 7,000 animals, so our next bet is to return to the first zone, and this is pretty much where we're going to spend the rest of this little playthrough. The animal counts come in quite almost uh, exponentially when you break down those blocks and that's not 21 not really much to say from this point again Beyond the funky music and its little quirky stage layout. And these levels are pretty much very optional. Just for fun. Or 120, so we'll have a long way to get to 2,000 animals, so you can unlock that last level. And 71 now. And it's coming kind of really said perhaps earlier in my first run of this little peculiar level. Music goes really faster. The blocks can be a bit tougher to take down, and of course the blocks are the main reason are also attack Sonic themselves. 300 now. One now, going by every 27 animals now. Yeah, this is every 28 animals, I suppose. Yeah, I have no idea how Sonic took damage either. Ooh, really close near miss right there. Apparently, that box really acted really quickly. Really nervous right there. 528. Still have about 25% in through animal count. And you get to have Sonic to get a chance at home attack right there. Uh, I didn't get a chance to get a little home attack right there. 561 now. Quarter way in to a lot of 2000 that we need. 703 now. This is perhaps the boring one. You can quite see that yellow that yellow block right there. Quite, quite camouflage with that killer camera angle right there. Uh, uh, taking really unnecessary damage. Just finding a way to knock out that box ideally without. Any other further labor, uh, further labor. Again, you also have a little time limit to deal with. There's that white box. Easy knockout right there. Thought I wasn't able to lock to that green block right on the bottom screen. So almost halfway with our allotted animal count. 1035 now. No landing right there, quite sadly enough. Yeah, interestingly enough. Let's 
until perhaps maybe while the time you, you watch you guys watch me fashion away at these blocks trying to aim for the 2,000 animal count. I don't know, uh, questionable damage right there. What do you guys think about the Sonic Boom so far? I mean, it's only a few months right now before this peculiar entry to Sonic the Hedgehog series comes out for the Wii U and 3DS. Both of them distinct their own respective ways. Different stories, too. Most along with that, uh, that's uh, accompanying comic, too. And not comic, uh, yeah, so like, yeah, there's an accompanying comic, and also there is a accompanying TV show. Again, one kind of reflecting to those, you know, comical ones you see on Cartoon Network these days. Not one who really enjoys watching TV, you know, I'm really used to uh, watching these kinds of shows, to be honest. There's really much really enjoy on TV other than. Like what? Usual news of uh, unfortunate news and uh, of course some sports and of course being an ice hockey fan myself looking forward to another season of NHL rooting for my local my nearby local sharks <laughs> again kudos to Los Angeles Kings for really bringing out their little fire that kind of came with them of what seemed like, you know, perhaps hoped, would be a sweep. And with 2,000 animals already in the count, uh, I was just watching out for those um, tiles to not essentially flip Sonic, and really let down my guard right there. But luckily enough, our count is still right there, at the cost of perhaps an extra life. 2,000 is all we need. Yeah, and perhaps, uh, I don't know, some shows like uh, America's Got Talent and, uh, you know, someone who's kind of one to sports and, you know. Maybe there's some news for time, there's nothing else worth watching. And that's 2,000 animals add to the count. We can now proceed to the final level of hidden world, but unfortunately, since given the time we have left, we will save that for next time. Yep. Save that for next time. That will take me as the rest of this this level will, will indeed take me quite some time. There it is. The final level, final zone of hidden world. So again, folks, next time, in perhaps the final episode of the main movement through Sonic Lost World, Hidden World Zone 4. So until next time, folks, this is Shadow of Black 7X. Hope you enjoyed watching, and until that time, see you soon.